Let us discuss all the different forms of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This is a topic which comes under the chapter straight lines. So we have three different cases. Let's begin with slope intercept form. So we have ax plus by plus c equal to 0. And if b is not equal to 0, then I have to express it in the form y equals mx plus c. Right? So I have to retain y to this side. So I have by equals minus ax minus c or y equals minus a by b into x minus c by b. So compare equation 1 and 2. So if I do that, this is y equals mx plus c. This is y equals this term. So we get m equals minus a by b and the y intercept c equals minus c by b. Now this is if b is not equal to 0. Now if b equals 0, then what happens? I have ax plus c equals 0 or x is equal to minus c by a. Now x is equal to minus c by a happens to be a point on the x-axis, right? So therefore the x-intercept is minus c by a. So this happens to be the x-intercept and this of course will be a vertical line. So it's going to be a vertical line minus c by a comma 0, okay? So this is going to be a vertical line and hence the slope is undefined. So slope remains undefined. This is if b is equal to 0. Next let us discuss the intercept form. Now we have the general intercept form which is x by a plus y by b equals 1. So now let me express this equation in that form. So I have ax plus by equals minus c. Now let me divide the whole equation by minus c and let me bring a and b to the denominator. So if that happens, I get x by minus c by a plus y divided by minus c by b equals 1, right? So a comes below minus c and b also comes below minus c, right? So what is a and b? So the value of a is nothing but minus c by a and this happens to be the x-intercept and b equals minus c by b and this will be the y-intercept. Now here this is if c is not equal to 0. If c is not equal to 0, we get this. Now what happens if c equal to 0, then I get a becomes 0, b also becomes 0 here. In both the cases, it becomes 0. So in that case, let me put c equal to 0, c equal to 0. So I get ax plus by equal to 0. So if I put c equal to 0 here, I get ax plus by equal to 0. So this is a line through the origin and has 0 intercepts on the axis. So this happens to be a line through the origin because the x intercept also is 0, the y intercept also is 0. So therefore it happens to be a line through the origin and has 0 intercepts on the axis. So now let us discuss the normal form. So we know that x cos omega plus y sin omega equals p happens to be the normal form and we have the equation of the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 or this is ax plus by equals minus c. So compare equations 1 and 2. So let me consider the coefficients of x, y and the constant term and let me divide them so the ratios will be equal, isn't it? So therefore you have a by cos omega must be equal to b which is coefficient of y divided by sin omega which is equal to minus c by b. Now let, let me consider these two. Taking the reciprocal cos omega by a equals minus p by c or what is cos omega it is minus a p by c similarly consider the these two i have sin omega by b equals p by c with a minus sign so sin omega equals minus b p by c so i have these two equations where cos omega equals minus a p by c, sin omega equals minus b p by c. Now let me square these two terms. So sin 
square omega cos square omega and add them so what is sine square omega it is b p by c the whole square plus cos square omega is a p by c the whole square and we know that sine square omega plus cos square omega equals 1 so we get the equation as a square p square by c square plus b square p square by c square equals 1 so taking p square outside and c square i have a square plus b square equals 1 and what is p so therefore p equals c divided by root of a square plus b square plus or minus so let me substitute this value of p let me call this as 1 in these two so we have cos omega equals minus a by c and what is p c by root of a square plus b square so plus minus so this is going to be plus minus similarly sine omega equals minus bp by c minus b by c p is c divided by root of a square plus b square so this is plus minus this also will be plus minus so c gets cancelled so what is cos omega it is going to be plus minus a divided by root of a square plus b square and sin omega equals b divided by root of a square plus b square plus minus so therefore the normal form of the equation so therefore we have the normal form of equation a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 so this is a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 is nothing but x cos omega plus y sin omega equals p where what is cos omega it is plus minus a by root of a square plus b square sin omega is plus minus b divided by root of a square plus b square and what is p given by this expression plus minus c divided by root of a square plus b square so these are the three different forms of ax plus by plus c so do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching